All right, guys, Ultimate Toy Collector here at the NECA booth. Yeah. New York Toy Fair 2018. NECA. Uh, Stefan is going to show us around the booth, uh, tell us all the goodies they got coming up. Uh, in the meantime, I might have bumped into a few xenomorphs. And, uh, yeah. He survived, though. It's fine. I survived. He survived. They're dead. Wall. They got nothing on me. So uh, one, one thing I want to ask, uh, I'm, I'm not seeing the DC two-packs out here that were previously announced. TBD. To be determined. Hold okay. on, to everybody. We're going to have more info soon. Okay. Uh, it's not canceled, but just more information soon. Okay. So don't worry about okay. that. Okay. But we're still, uh, we're still pulling ahead. With everything else that we have everything else here. you're seeing here we got, we and have. more we got always as you know people cooking stuff at the lab people working on stuff at the studio we've got all kinds of things that we can't even show cooking it cutting it up in the studio yeah, exactly we Literally. can't even show some stuff so what we have here is just uh, just the beginning for 2018 so uh, keep the pulse on NECA because it's gonna it's gonna be a wild year it's gonna be a wild year all right well come and join us we're gonna take a walk around we're gonna take a look at uh, and all Thanks. the cool stuff. Yeah. All right. NECA Booth 2018. All right. Hello, everybody. I'm Stephen Fulkins of the NECA Booth at Toy Fair 2018. Uh, here we've got our quarter scales this year. We've got uh, Captain America from Civil War. Quarter scale. He comes with a shield and some hands and extra head. Uh, unmasked head and masked head from Civil War. Uh, from the DCU, we've got the one and only Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot's portrayal. Uh, she's a quarter scale figure, comes with a sword and her shield, a uh, fully articulated figure, extra hands as well. She's uh, coming out a little later this year. All right, continuing on with the quarter scales, we've got quarter scale Daredevil from Marvel. He is fully articulated, super poseable, comes with bendy nunchucks and a uh, second head, uh, unmasked head. Uh, as well as his cowl that he can hold. Uh, comes with multiple hands and a, oh, uh, don't touch that, uh, and a uh, wire uh, that you can plug in uh, into his extended walking staff he can use as a weapon uh, with a grappling hook on the end so it can actually bend and hold on to certain things. So, quarter scale daredevil. Freaking awesome. Continuing the red theme, we've got ultimate Deadpool coming this year. Quarter scale figure. He's loaded with new accessories. He's got blast effects for the guns that he came with before. He's got a new necklace chain, Mr. D. He's got a new unmasked hamburger head. He's got his uh, cheese dripping down his face onto his tongue. That, act that actually snaps on and off uh, on the top of his head. And he comes with uh, a stuffed animal unicorn. Uh, with a little heart so he can sleep alone at, uh, <laughs> so can he sleep happily alone at night uh, he comes with a sliced head with a brain exposed as well as a cap that goes over that D cool blast effects three separate blast effects and uh, for the machine gun that clips on and he comes with a burrito so if in case he gets hungry at night after that cheese you can have a little burrito as well and then we've got quarter scale Kratos and seven inch Kratos from the new God of War game coming out later this year. He is an absolute beast and he comes with a shield that plugs into his arm. Both scales come with the shield that plugs into his arm and an axe and his knife. He is an absolute mo monster of a figure. He's awesome. And uh, we, we have the Crash Bandicoot license. Our first release is actually Crash with a single blister and he will have a uh, cardboard uh, box who will uh, he will be packaged with the blister there our second release will be the deluxe hoverboard version uh, with a new head and an actual sculpted physical crate uh, and he will come with that hoverboard with movable that's uh, actually sculpted that's an actually sculpted crate right there yeah so the first release will have a cardboard clay just a standard crate uh, a standard crash for retail uh, actually, the eyebrows are articulated on Crash. He's fully articulated. The eyebrows can move for multiple expressions. You can see he can do around 20 different expressions by just altering the eyebrows slightly. Uh, then later on, uh, we've got a Jetpack crush, Crash Bandicoot coming out, shown there. And he'll come with uh, a crate also? Uh, yes. Now, do the crate, yes. 
explode or anything like no, that? No, they don't do anything. They're just crates for him to stand on or okay. for you to buy it, but to build some sort of diorama display with Crash. Yeah. What, uh, what price point are we talking? Uh, we're talking standard price point for the original Crash, uh, like, you know, 22 in store, and the other Crashes will be uh, more deluxe, kind of ultimate open flap window type of thing. So there'll be more of a, there'll be a higher price point, but he comes with huge items and he's fully deluxe. So Now I noticed, uh, obviously, Crash has some hair. Yes. Uh, but it's not like a flocked, it's, it's actually sculpted. <laughs> it is a sculpted hair. Yeah. We are not doing a flocked hair. We're, we're trying to keep it to look like the game as much as possible, which is okay. kind of the spiky thing. Uh, he is not flocked. He's all plastic PVC figure. Um, yes, fully articulated, fully moves. Eyebrows move. So, For Valve, we're doing Team Fortress. We're continuing the blue and the red. Uh, we're also bringing Chell back, and we're bringing Gordon Freeman back from the Valve license so people can finally complete their red and blue teams, um, and they can they have a chance to buy Chell and Gordon Freeman yet again. So, Also right now, we have the Predator Special Edition Jungle Demon with light-up LED eyes and LED uh, panel, and we've got uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day quarter-scale Arnold Schwarzenegger. The Pan's Labyrinth, Guillermo del Toro, uh, signature collection. Pan's Labyrinth was revealed this summer, at, last summer at Comic Con, and uh, they will include bases. The Pale Man, it was uh, announced yesterday, where he will come with his throne base, and, and, and Ophelia will come with their respective pillars, shown down below. This is actual toy size, final toy of Santi. Uh, he will be uh, coming out later this year, quarter two and the uh, Pan's Labyrinth stuff will be coming out later this year as well. And there's the pillar. Uh, it will be, it will rotate uh, just for specific shots in the movie. It switched around a little bit, so. And Ophelia's, uh, Ophelia's statue right and there. And both so. of these, obviously says actual size shown. Yes. Both of them are going to be in those scales. Included with Ophelia. Yeah, that is the that is final toy size for all that right there. Gotcha. Uh, and the, ba the large stone bases will come with Ophelia and the uh, pillar with the fawn. So let me, let, me, let me just ask you a quick question before we, we move on. I see uh, diorama pieces is something that is being worked into the figures now. Yes. That's, that's going to be a big thing moving forward because Crash, obviously, even though it's a little piece, it's still a diorama piece. Yes. And Pan's Labyrinth, these are, you know, diorama pieces. We're, um, we're really seeing and watching the market closely. These toy collectors now want to take photos. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook are blowing up with toy photos. Um, people are photographing their toys not only in their own dioramas, but out in the real world. Um, you know, whether it be our Ninja Turtles in the streets of New York or their own streets at home, or, um, you know, uh, whatever Predator people want to do. Or, Predator out in a yeah. forest, you know, out in their own tree in their backyard. People really are loving these toy photography. And with mobile phones, it's even easier to do toy photography. And with the hashtags on Instagram, hashtag NECA and hashtag toy photography and all this, you can really see how people are taking their own and becoming their own with dioramas that they build. So we're giving people options with these figures to allow them to create their own sets and have the figures not only just be a figure, but here's something you can put on your shelf and display it nicely with. So now speaking of that up here, we speaking have, uh, of that, we got Friday the thirteenth, Crystal Camp Crystal Lake accessory set. He comes with the dock from part three, three D, Friday the thirteenth three, uh, the Camp Crystal Lake, which was featured in a lot of films, as well as a part six specific uh, floating rock sign thing where Jason was actually floating at the bottom of the lake. So that has a clear PVC rod where he can actually stick the figure in. He can be floating there. So uh, that comes in a closed box over there, and it's a customer assemble thing. So it's uh, really easy to pop together, and then boom, you have something for the two ultimates that we've released before, part six and part three. And we are now revealing a part two, Friday the 13th, part two, Jason ultimate figure. He comes with a sack head and his regular head, his mother's head, a fire, a campfire, which we're releasing with him, uh, a pickaxe, a knife, a machete, a pitchfork, a spear. I mean, he's completely loaded uh, with accessories. This thing is going to be wild. And then we have this big bastard, Jason from Final Chapter, Part 4, Friday the 13th. He will come with two heads, a machete, a kitchen knife, an axe. He will come with a sliced left hand when they put the machete in, and you'll be able to switch out the heads, and uh, the mask comes off, 
and you'll be able to put the machete into the side of his head. This is an absolutely massive figure and a uh, beautiful piece, a beautiful piece for, uh, for collectors for their shelves. Continuing the Evil Dead line, we have the ultimate Evil Dead Dead by Dawn 2-pack featuring Ash, Hero Ash, uh, and the uh, Evil Ed for the first time. Evil Ed will come with the two heads that can split apart when he gets axed. Ash will come with two heads. Those are coming out in a beautiful box uh, later this year. And right now, hitting store soon, in the next month or so, is Ash vs. Evil Dead Series 2, where we have the Demon Spawn with three separate heads, uh, Asylum Ash, and Henrietta from the hit show Ash vs. Evil Dead on Stars. Highly recommend the show. Everybody go watch it, and the figures are just as cool as the show is. And uh, this cabin I built as the display piece for everybody, so we put, we put all the Ash stuff in there for display for the toy show. So, yeah. Also revealed at the toy show, he's not painted, but we thought we'd show everybody the sculpt of this amazing Gremlins ultimate figure from the part one 1984 film Gremlins. Uh, he's loaded with accessories, a working, moving jaw, uh, articulated ears, a beer, a Coke, uh, candy, poker chips. He'll have a, like a propeller hat thing. He'll come with a bag of popcorn. This guy's going to be tricked out to the max, and he'll be the, uh, the ultimate line. So people are really excited about that. And Ashy Slashy was such a big hit last year, the puppet. We thought we'd do the possessed version for everybody. So this is when he turns into the possessed version uh, when he comes in the uh, show season, uh, Ash vs. Dead Evil, uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead season two, uh, when he, uh, <laughs> he starts biting his victims and goes all crazy. Uh, we're adding the teeth, the white eyes, and we're adding the teeth to the chainsaw. So we got all the details there that from the show. So. Stephen King's It, the huge blockbuster R-rated horror film this last year uh, we're now doing an Ultimate Pennywise figure from. Ultimate Pennywise here, shown as the Bill Skarsgård version, uh, an opening flat box, he'll have multiple heads, that hand will actually be able to hold the balloon, uh, and uh, yep, made you look. Um, he comes with a little SS Georgie boat and uh, alternate hands and heads. So he's fully articulated, fully mobile, and he will haunt your shelves. He'll be so creepy. And he's going to have uh, one single balloon to hold, correct? That's correct. He has the one single balloon. He actually has like a hundred at one point, but he has that one balloon most of the movie. And in all the posters and the merchandising and the, uh, the trailers and stuff, he was always holding the one. So uh, we'll just give him the one balloon. Um, People mentioned his head's a little small. Yeah, this is just the two-up prototype that we showed. Uh, his head actually will be sized proportionally for the figure, so no need to worry about that. Uh, it's a little smaller here because the sculptor didn't match it to the body, so um, it's just a two-up prototype. Sometimes that happens, um, but we thought we'd show everybody the full figure. So. And he's going to have three heads. Three heads at least, or, or you know, we're doing multiple different uh, different expressions and stuff, so we're trying to see which one we'll go with. Still not finalized. The old, yeah, it's not final, but... Uh, but uh, it's being solicited now, so. Okay, and then we have the 1990 Pennywise, Tim Curry's version from the miniseries. Uh, he comes with four heads, and you'll notice he's just holding one balloon there, but this is the resin prototype. Uh, he will be able to hold his full seven balloon bundle when you have the actual toy. So he's got uh, a laughing head, a serious head, his demonic head, and then the acid spray final battle head. Uh, he comes uh, with multiple hands and accessories as well as the noisemaker which actually spins around that point and the monster hands from the original poster which everybody remembers. Down below we have one of my pet projects over the last couple years the diorama. As you can see we have the uh, Comic-Con 2017 turtles uh, on there right now for display but we will be releasing this diorama specifically for retail. Uh, it will come with a fire hydrant and a manhole. And this diorama will be in a collapsed box. So it will be a customer assembly, a plastic, fully tooled diorama. The only thing cardboard will be the backdrop, which will be magnetically attached. The customer can remove that and place figures inside the diorama for photo shoots. Um, and this will hit retail this year. It's compatible with 6 inch to 9 inch figures. Uh, there's bricks, there's real clear PVC window, uh, PC windows, and uh, there are three levels. Uh, there's going to be actually an extension of the cardboard up here so people can shoot their figures on that top level. Um, as you can see, there's three levels. It's going to be able to hold at least 25 figures. Uh, you could bump that to 30 or 40 if you put them all inside. 
Uh, this is the resin prototype right now. Um, but yeah, look for that diorama for not only collecting, you know, NECA figures and NECA photo shoots, but people collect all other things. And we realize that, and we realize that the fans are taking photos and the way they're lighting things so cool now, let's give them a diorama to do those Marvel Legend photo shoots or DC stuff, or you know, whatever people have in their collection. This allows them to mix and match and put their NECA figures on there, three tiers worth. So even if you just want to store your figures in a cool way that goes vertically instead of, you know, just a, a horizontal shelf, this allows you to put a whole bunch of different figures in a really cool scene so on this, your diorama. this essentially is NECA's first playset play slash set. diorama. Yes. So NECA officially has now gone. We've taken the a step set. further. This is our first official full-on playset. The grown person's playset. Yes. The, we, the grown man's playset. Yeah, and we tried to make it uh, acceptable for everyone, not specifically uh, a certain license or whatever. So it, is people there a price will, point on this? Uh, not yet. There's more info coming soon, so just, just hold off on that. But uh, we obviously want to make it accessible to a lot of people. So. Um, the uh, in the past we've done the Predator 2 wall at the end of the movie that holds the skulls. It's kind of like a piece. Uh, last year I did the uh, Predator uh, pillar from AVP, Alien vs Predator, uh, which was which was received very well. And this year we're also doing the Predator Bone Throne, uh, which we'll show now or later. Predator Bone Throne, which is also another piece uh, coming out this year, diorama wise, all in resin except for the plastic fins at the back. Um, and you can put your Predator, Ultimate Ahab is in there right now, an Ultimate figure we're coming out with later this year, which will have a masked head, uh, a mask, uh, his regular head, uh, spear, engineer skull, engineer gun, he's absolutely loaded with accessories, fifth panel window, uh, fully new articulated body off of the Ultimate style body from P1 and P2, and uh, yeah, that's a resin bone throne for your clan leader or any predator figure you want to sit in and be a badass. Next to him, we've got the American Gods Laura Moon prototype. Um, the, the big hit, American Gods, uh, and that's the first figure we're showing from that. Now, so. uh, with the throne, it's going to be just a throne. It's not going to come with a predator. That is correct. It is not sold with a predator, and the diorama will not be sold with a figure. All figures sold separately for sure. On with Predator Series 18. It's coming soon. We've got a test shot there of Predator Hornhead, Hornhead Predator right there from the Dark Horse comics. We've got Broken Tusk, and we've got Machiko. So that Series 18 is coming very soon. And down here, we've got the arcade predators, the mad, the hunter, and the warrior. Those predators are coming in the next wave, a uh, separate wave than a regular predator series. It's an arcade or AVP wave from the Capcom game in the 90s. And showing off for the first time is Dutch and Lynn 2-pack from the AVP Capcom game. Now, the uh, predator up here... That's uh, still a work in progress. Is that's that an unpainted test shot right there. So that's tooled, ready to go. Is, uh, it new, is there new tooling on this one in specific areas? Oh, yeah. That that's, a, that's a new chest for the, for the horn head. He's a much beefier character than the other Predators we did. So we added a new chest. He's got new gauntlets and new blades, a new head, a new sash, new armor pieces, uh, new loincloth armor section, uh, new calves, and new... Uh, and new knee pads. So he is. He so is a all lot these of new. sections are highlighting the. A lot the, of new pieces. The new, they're the Yeah, a lot of the black pieces right. and the gauntlets as well. But you know, it's uh, only the. Only the gray is reused, from uh, City Hunter. So, so the rest is that. All right, moving on. We have another huge reveal at the show. Another Ultimate Predator. The Golden Angel, Ultimate Elder Predator. He comes with three separate heads, a disc. Uh, he's based off of the uh, Dark Horse comic that explains his backstory uh, to the Predator universe. In P2, at the end of the movie, we see him as an older Predator. Uh, give Danny Glover uh, the uh, 1700 pistol from the 1700s. And this comic explained his backstory. So now we have the Golden Angel uh, in fifth panel window box, Ultimate style. The Alien line continues. One of our strongest lines, Aliens and Predators, and the Alien line continues. Eric, how you doing, man? Hey, man. Hey, good. good. How are you? Uh, our Alien line continues strong. This year we have the uh, Kenner exclusive, uh, the club exclusive Alien from the Kenner wave. Uh, originally, Kenner painted an Alien on its card back, and we decided to do a painted version of that original painted version from the card back of Kenner. 
Series 13 Aliens, a Kenner-inspired wave on this Kenner Dio that took me forever. Um, you get Apone, no bugs allowed. There he is in full glory. The Snake Alien, which fans have been begging for. And he will have a, she will have a bendable tail. And her pincers, her mouth opens up, something slides out. And uh, the one rounding it out is the Scorpion Alien, one of my personal favorites, an absolute badass. The Scorpion Alien is coming. And this is all uh, throwback Kenners. Uh, that whole wave, Series 13, all throwback Kenner. And then we have this as the thank you to the club subscription for Alien Club. Oh, that's uh, an Alien Club Alien Club exclusive, yeah. Okay. That's the Alien Club exclusive Kenner Alien. Gotcha. Okay. You know, yesterday when I came and looked at everything, I, I kind of guessed that. And, and obviously being in the, the Kenner dial. The Kenner display. Dial, yeah, 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 for sure. And uh, so I also heard that this dial is going to be going up for sale. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, all the other dials are not for sale and would just be a fortune to absolutely tool and produce. So well, if you blow up their their uh, their Twitter, you yeah. know, Randy will yell at me. Start, and, start begging, start begging. But we are bringing you this diorama here. Uh, from the uh, kind of cartoon inspired or comic inspired. One uh, step at a time. One, one step, step at a time and this is a great gateway for people and hopefully they'll able to they're able to put as many figures on there as possible for them and do some crazy photo shoots with li different lighting and if people want to repaint it or whatever but uh, we're making this available to them so let's all band together and make this a success because as you know if it's a success we'll keep stuff coming.